Hey guys, Brest here, and today we are just playing something for Brest. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. I just want to show you how how did I uh, made that very clean and uh, nice looking Team Fortress records like the heavy 32 kills and the fish time with the scope. So start the game and uh, in the menu you can see replays. Click on that and here in replays uh, you can see all your replays you saved from servers, from servers which allow you to uh, save the replays after a death, after a round, and that will be saved here. So, uh, let's just see which. Mm, that seems okay. Uh, click on the demo, you can rename it uh, whenever you want and uh, yeah watch and edit watch slash edit after clicking that you can obviously watch and edit your clip your demo uh, Third, where the control point is being contested press space you can go to this very nice looking GUI in the recording uh, you can set the in point Set the start point for the take. Uh, rewind, rewind 10 seconds, play it. Ra, 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 ra. Slow down or speed up, free camera, third person camera, and everything else. And also, you can watch other players' perspectives uh, and the other teams too. So just test test the routine the in point yeah an engineer kill that's all okay so I died click out point click on the right Top hand, oh left, sorry, left, top hand corner, save as, and you can name it whatever you want, I call it tutorial, tutorial, press enter or save, click on again on that button, exit play and confirm, and after that, uh, sorry for the thumbnail bug, but I, I reinstalled my whole computer and uh, uh, we copied the old replays. I didn't want to <coughs> lose all my replays, and this bug happened. So there is the tutorial. Save the movie. Click on the button, and here you can title it, call it tutorial, and uh, the settings were uh, uh, 740p movie quality maximum and uh, check the show advanced options and here video codec was slower best quality H264 yes and the motion blur quality was um, on the second thingy here because uh, that was uh, relatively fast uh, here you can see estimated time to render and uh, the first number is almost almost the perfect or the exact time of the render time render time so second motion block quality thingy and uh, i enabled go effect i don't know what that does i don't really care and then click on go <coughs> it will shortly start to render your little movie clip and uh, I can suggest you to uh, disable the preview because if you enable the preview uh, that can be very slow very very slow and here you can see because I'm using fraps and I'm recording this this will be a hell lot of time 
so I just cut here the fo footage and uh, after it ends I will be back yes we are back it's done and after it completed the runner uh, it takes you back to the place you are taken back here and uh, here down on the first place you can see the fresh saved movie which I call tutorial click on it and uh, here is a button information button and here you can you can read the information the complete rendering pose uh, the render time was a bit longer it took a long time not that two minutes ten or whatever because I I did things under the render you know <laughs> no 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 I rendered the my new 3d project under it and yes so it could have been two minutes and a half and uh, it could have been longer than this 5.45 yeah, but it's my bad it could be right and uh, I hope you won't render under a render so yeah or if you have a NASA computer so go on uh, here you can uh, YouTube it if you log in with your YouTube user uh, but I <coughs> never do sorry <coughs> I never do it because I I don't do it. Uh, yes, just the why. That's the why. Uh -huh. And here is an export button uh, which we need. And here you can export your movie. I already export exported it, but I will do this again for you guys. You can name it here, whatever you want to save. Tra la la tra la tra la so on so on so on blah 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 blah. Click save. The movie has been exported successfully. Click OK. And uh, one more thing I should have been explaining that is the codec we used, the H264. Yes, that's the codec. Uh, requires the QuickTime. So you have to install QuickTime before using this replay thingy. And yeah, because the QuickTime provides you the codec and draw along. Uh, that's it, guys. I hope you learned something new, or or learned something new. <laughs> I was blessed, and uh, see you soon. Bye.